Thank you for purchasing Mylan HIV self test. This video will take you step by step on how to use your Mylan HIV self test. Mylan HIV self test is the world's only integrated single use self test device designed as an at home screening test with results obtained only in 15 minutes. It is CE certified, pre qualified by WHO, approved by TGA, and is a safe, convenient, and accurate way of screening yourself for HIV with just one drop of blood. As soon as you open your HIV self test, you will find a foil pouch containing the self test a bottle of test fluid, instructions, and a plastic waste bag for discreet disposal. Before you open the foil pouch, check the expiration date to make sure it is still current. Open the foil pouch using the tear notch and take out the test. Don't use the test if the foil pouch is damaged. Mylan HIV self-test is an internationally acclaimed device known for its innovative design, performance and ease of use. Before you start the test, unfold the instructions and read them carefully to get familiar with the testing process. You will need a timer to check the test results at the right time and correctly interpret the same. Now wash and dry your hands to make sure they are clean. Select a finger and firmly massage it for 5 to 10 seconds to get the blood flowing. To remove the green tab, first gently turn, then take it out. Now discard it. The grey button is used to prick your finger. It can only be used once. Firmly push the grey button in to prick your finger. Remember, it only pricks once. Don't worry. To most people, the prick feels like a rubber band snap against the skin. Now place the test down on the instructions sheet in the bottom right corner. This will make it easier to fill the tube with blood. Squeeze firmly behind the prick site on the finger. For the next step, you should not pick up the test. It should stay on the table. Hold your finger in a downward position and gently touch the blood to the tip of the tube so that the tube fills with blood. Avoid touching the tube with your skin. Do not force blood into the tube. If there is enough blood on your finger, the blood will be drawn into the tube automatically. If the tube is not full, squeeze your finger again behind the prick site. If you're having trouble filling the tube or blood has smeared on your finger, take a moment and wipe your finger clean. Don't pinch your finger in front or to the side of the prick site as this will reduce blood flow. Instead, make sure you firmly squeeze your finger behind the prick site to get more blood and touch the blood to the tip of the tube. It is important that the tube is full. If necessary, repeat until it is full. This will ensure the test has the correct amount of blood. Hold the test on the table and flip the tube over using its support arm until it stops. Check to make sure the blood has moved from the tube into the well. Now add 4 drops of test fluid into the well on top of the blood. 1, 2, 3, 4. Set your timer and wait 15 minutes before reading the result. 
reading the result before 15 minutes could give you a false result. However, do not wait longer than 20 minutes. Match the lines in the results area of the test with the colored boxes on the instructions. It is the lines next to the C and the T which tell you your results. Look in the red box called HIV positive. If a line appears next to the C and a line also appears next to the T, you have tested HIV positive. Even if the line next to the T is faint, because this is a screening test, it is important that you go to a clinic for further testing to confirm the result. Look in the orange box called test did not work. If no line appears next to the C, then the test did not work, even if a line appears next to the T. Because this is a screening test, go to a clinic for further testing. Look in the green box called HIV negative. If a line appears next to the C, but no line appears next to the T, you have tested HIV negative. You should test again in three months time. More information about HIV can be found on the back of the instructions. Now that the test is finished, you can dispose of it by putting all the test materials in the plastic bag provided and placing it in a rubbish bin. The most important thing to remember from this video is that when you're filling the blood tube, keep the device on the table the entire time. Hold your finger in a downward position. Gently touch the blood to the tip of the tube and avoid touching the tube with your skin. We hope that this video was helpful to screen yourself with Mylan HIV Self-Test.